If the first one, if the first one was weird, this one was off the charts, wacko. You know how, uh, you know how the first one, the spaceship was huge, gigantic. Uh, this time, it was like, it was like the size of a doghouse, and 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 I was all kind of like scrunched up inside of it. And and you remember how the aliens were like these gigantic tumbleweed things? Well. This time, they were like the size of a bee, and, 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 and they were just like buzzing around me all the time, just buzzing around me, and, and I met, I met the main alien guy, uh, and he told me his name. It was, it was, it was something like uh, Chico. You know, he didn't he didn't speak English or anything. I could just I could I could hear his voice inside my brain. I think this is kind of standard alien stuff. And uh, the strange thing though, the really strange thing was that he spoke with a kind of a slight Mexican accent. Uh, so I called him Chico. Um, so anyway, Chico and his pals, um, well, they are kind of like outcasts from their planet. And uh, everybody on their planet are like these like super kind of like straight button down kind of types. And, and you know, Chico and his buddies, they, they consider themselves to be like the punks of their planet. So, so here I am, all scrunched up in this doghouse kind of spaceship with this alien bee thing buzzing around telling me that he's a punk. I mean, sounds weird or what? Anyway, though, I, I, I drew a picture of him. Uh, you know, he, he is right here. Uh, you know, it, 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 it's not exactly scientific or anything, but, but this is kind of what he looked like. Um, so, uh, so anyway, then I just kind of fell back, uh, fell back asleep again, and and then when uh, when I woke up. I was back in LA, but uh, but this has happened twice now. It's happened twice, so it's it's probably gonna happen again. It's not good. It's not good. 